Kitchen, and also welcome to the first episode of 2011 of The Holidays Are Coming. So today I'm going to show you how to make some homemade fat salts. We're going to start this year by concentrating on gift giving ideas and then we're going to move into recipes and food gifts that we can do. Um, I think it's early enough on now. We really need us crafters and homemade gift people. We're going to have to really start to concentrate on making those homemade gifts because you don't want to wait too close to Christmas because you just really wear yourself out mentally, physically, and every other way. Because the closer it gets to Christmas, the more crap you have to do and the more stressed out you get and you get at your wits end, you get at the end of your rope and then you just quit. And, and before you, say you that know from it, experience. and I do, I say that from experience. Two, two years ago, I um I got shingles because I stressed out so badly. I couldn't enjoy Christmas that year because I allowed my body to get physically worn down. And Christmas Eve rolled around, and my body said, "Haha, <laughs> you are done." So I don't want that to happen to anybody. I want us to all plan ahead. I want you to get yourself a notebook and I want you to start making lists. I want you to simplify because this is the key to having a successful holiday. And a lot of times that falls on mom um, or the female uh, leader of the family. So I think it's really important for all of us to put our heads together and make sure that none of us gets too stressed out. And you know what? Sometimes it's okay just to say, you know what? Just because I've done that every single year doesn't mean I have to do it this year. Maybe we'll take a break from that. Whatever you find to be particularly stressful, what, what do you get to at some point where you finally, you, I just can't do that. I don't know when I'm going to do it. And you know what? Your kids are going to remember being together and it being Christmas. A lot of times they're not going to remember what they got for Christmas. They're going to remember what you, the memories that were made of being together. So um, I, I apologize I got off on a tangent again. I'd like to do that, I know. But there's a lot of things running through my head and um, we'll kind of expound on those in other videos. But today I'm going to show you how to make some homemade bath salts because what better way is there than to relax in a nice warm bath, close the door, leave your family out in the living room and turn on some music, light a candle, draw a warm bath and sit in there for 20 minutes it really can make all the difference so let's see what goes in this really easy this is so simple these are epsom salts and this is also very inexpensive epsom salts you get these in the pharmacy section of your big box store or at your pharmacy very cheap like two bucks two bucks for a big bag this is dead sea salt now i got mine at big lots and this bag is about it's just over two pounds um, and it costs three dollars and I bought every single one that they had because and if you go to Michaels you can buy dead sea salt and you get it in a three pound jar but they want fifteen dollars for that and that's no way this also has a little baking soda um, just a little and I'm gonna tell you how much goes into this so so you're gonna want dead sea salts you can also buy dead sea salts in five pound bags online um, and I'll put a couple of links down in the underbar so that you'll know where I get some of my stuff. Um, and we're also going to use some essential oils. I don't know what kind I'm going to use today, but I have lavender, lemon, orange, peppermint, and ylang ylang here. Um, you can use anything. I thought I had some eucalyptus. I like to do eucalyptus and peppermint. I really like that smell. Um, so here we go. I'm going to put on some gloves. Only because I like to mix this with my hands. And, um, and I don't want to get, I don't want my hands to get nasty. But one thing, do not use table salt. Do not use kosher salt. Do not use rock salt. What you want to do is you want to use Epsom, you need to use 100% Epsom salt, 100% Dead Sea salt, or a combination of both. And today I'm using a combination of both because the Epsom salt is really cheap. The Dead Sea salt is not so cheap. So we're gonna we're gonna you know split the difference. And the reason my Epsom salt is in this bag is because I had this sealed bag out with my garden things and it needed a new bag. So, so 
So a cup, a cup of Epsom salt, and then just go in here with your hand and kind of break up those clumps. And Epsom salt is really great for you. This is going to make your skin really soft along with the baking soda. It's going to be a wonderful exfoliant. You can use this as a scrub. And in another video, I'm going to show you how to make a body, uh, body scrub. So we're going to take a cup of the dead sea salts. And you can see those are quite a bit chunkier. Then we're going to take two tablespoons of baking soda. And this is one tablespoon per cup of salt. And you don't have to be too exact, but close enough. And there's this fly is running mm -hmm. up the wall. Yeah, the door, doors open over because it's so nice out in the We did. Mm -hmm. Yesterday. We'll have to show you in another video. Rick's been on the working on some project on the deck for some storage for us. And, and I'll have to share that with you. I'm mixing this up really well. And the other thing is, if you find if you find little dark pieces of sea, of the Dead Sea salts, pull those out because they tend to be sharp, and you don't want anybody to cut themselves. Um, you have the other option if you want to add some lavender buds or some peppermint leaves or any other kind of uh, herb. You can do that. Add it right in here. But then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get some extra large bath tea bags. They're about this big and you can iron them shut. And then they can just toss this in the bathtub. It will dissolve, but all of those herbs will not clog the drain. They can just pick that up and toss it out um, later. So, what are we going to use today? What do you think? Thanks, Mom. Mm, peppermint. Peppermint and lemon or just peppermint? Or peppermint and lavender? Lemon. Peppermint and lemon? Okay. <clears throat> Essential oil is very strong. So, you're going to use 10 to 12 drops of essential oil. So, I'm going to use six drops of the peppermint. Okay. And I'm going to use six drops of the lemon. That's literally all you need. And then back in here with your hands. Stir this up really well, and then you'll start to smell it, and it's going to be beautiful. You have the option of coloring this as well. I have colored them in the past, but I just don't think it's necessary. Um, we're doing a natural product here. It, doesn't it smell nice? Um, and you can see there's a texture difference now because we've incorporated these essential oils into the salt and the baking soda and um, I don't know if you can tell but I can tell the oil is starting to become emulsified sort of in with the salt and the baking soda and you can make this in large batches I'm just making this one today you could divide this into two gifts you can use this whole thing in a pint jar or in a jelly. You could do two jelly jars. But the one thing I want to stress to you is, is don't go buying, unless you have to, buying special packaging. Keep your spaghetti sauce jars or your jelly jars. Wash them out. Take the labels off of them. If you have a problem getting the label off, put a little rubbing alcohol or a little WD-40 and it'll come right off. I'm going to take my gloves off here. And that is homemade bath salts. So what you can do is you can, this will all fit in this pint jar or a, por a, a good portion of it will fit in this pint jar. You can fill that up and then what you want to do you can make it pretty. You take a piece of fabric or whatever. I have a pretty piece of scrapbook paper that I went and got out of my stash. And all you have to do is just um, screw this on. And it's going to kind of um, pleat the paper all by itself. And then for those of you who are crafty scrapbookers, you can even go ahead and ink the edges here first. And it'll look really beautiful. You can leave this blank or you can make a label. Or I would tie a ribbon around here and make a tag. 
um, with some stamps or or my Cricut or something like that. So that's one option. Another option, which is the option I'm going to show you. Remember this? This is the candle cup that we um, you the ones that I get the candles in from Bath and Body Works. These are the large candles. Um, that I use the lids for the coasters and this this is um, just a cellophane bag that I get from a supplier I'm just going to stick this in here and then I'm going to open it up I'm going to get a spoon I always need to get a spoon I always need to make you move You may have to tap it down because it's going to, um, I don't know, you probably almost fit this whole thing in here. And then I'll show you what you can do. You can fit this whole thing in here. You get yourself a ribbon. Just tie a nice bow. Make it pretty. And then, because I think this is a little too tall, we're just going to take our scissors and hack it off. Now, isn't that pretty? That is a lovely Christmas gift. You put that in a little gift bag with a tag on it. You could make a bunch of those up ahead of time. And then maybe if somebody that you forgot on your list shows up and brings you a nice bottle of wine or a nice tray of cookies, and you go, oh my goodness, I didn't get them anything. There you go. You have a few of these sitting under your tree or on your hallway table, and you are good to go because you can say, here, Merry Christmas from us to you. So, there you have it. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's getting out of the way. Homemade bath salts. That was so easy. If you need to know where to get essential oils, I get mine at my health food store. Um, but you can also get them online. I'm going to put a link to a place where I get, uh, you can get soap wax. You can get all the ingredients to make homemade soap. You can get the fragrances, the colorings, um, all of it. And, I, and all the packaging. Uh, I get a lot of my packaging, my bags and stuff, I get from them. And I'll, I get the tea bags also, the bath tea bags. I do have some of those, but I didn't pull any out. Um, and I will put the link at the bottom uh, for you to look at. So, I hope you give this a try. And I hope this kicks off the uh, holiday gift making season for you. So, um, happy holidays. And until next time, I'll see ya. Bye.